Now the next thing that I do is more materials based. I prefer the red stencil paper to the purple stencil paper for darker skin tones. I always had a problem with purple stencils on dark skin turning metallic and gold uh, looking kind of reflective whenever it dried. So I would put the stencil on the darker skin tones, peel it off, and it would tend to look like gold flake or something. And it was really hard to see. I would have to wet it again with a paper towel for it to turn back purple so that I could see where the line actually was or make some sense out of it. And I never had good luck with purple stencils on darker skin tone. Uh, the red stencil, as you can see here, goes on. It is light. It's a lighter stencil. Uh, than the than the purple, but it doesn't turn metallic. And for me, it's easier to read across the board, especially with, with the darker the skin tone gets. And you can see here on the stencil itself, even though it's uh, very light, that I can see all those directional lines in the shadow shapes, and it's helping me to determine what shapes are doing what. So I can really clearly separate light shapes from shadow shapes, and then the flow of different shadow shapes.